Hey guys, so today we are doing a musical theater inspired makeup tutorial of my most recent role, Joanna in Sweeney Todd. Um, Joanna was always a dream role of mine and I'm just so glad I was given the opportunity to bring her to life in the show. Um, if you're new, my name is Michelle and I really like musicals, so let's begin. So to start, I'm going to moisturize my face. Beautiful day from Bath and Body Works. There you go. Yeah. Um, so I don't want to do anything too heavy because it's more of a, it's a natural makeup look. So rub it on my face. So well, Joanna is a character that kind of gets shortchanged in certain directors' views or actors' portrayals. So. I tried to give as much depth as possible while still staying true to the script in a way like, yeah, she's pretty, but she also struggles internally and has conflicts with her characters, such as the judge. Also, this video is gonna have major spoilers uh, because the show's been out for like 40 years and I think it's past spoiler blackout. Um, Sweeney Todd is definitely one of Sondheim's darker shows in a sense that all the characters are flawed. Some less than others, you have the children, more wholesome characters, Tobias, Antony, Joanna, who by the end of the show all have blood on their hands, except Antony. Now we're gonna use some concealer. Um, I'm using Wet n Wild Dual Ended Contour Stick in the shade Medium Light because I'm too dark for my role. I had to be really pale. It was really uncomfortable. Okay, so I'm going to just put this all over my face. And by all over my face, I mean literally everywhere on my face. <laughs> She's cute. But, um, yeah, because Tobias dirties his hands when in the finale he kills Sweeney. And Joanna dirties her hands when she kills Fog when escaping the asylum in the be at the end of the show. Just gonna put all of this on. I haven't done this in like four days, my poor skin. <laughs> And I had to be so pale for the show, it was ridiculous. They were like, they were like, can you go full white? And I was like, I guess I can. So I went very, very white. Okay, so I'm gonna curl my eyelashes now. My least favorite part about doing makeup because it makes me look stupid. Curled, woo! Okay, so now I'm going to do mascara, which I am using Wet n Wild Mega Volume. This is all drugstore makeup because I'm broke. I don't really film on this. This is my photography camera. I don't usually film on this thing. So usually this is one of the last things I do when getting stage makeup on, but since I'm not doing this for stage, we are going early. All right, and now I'm going to do my face contour because I have not done that yet. So we're going to whip out the dual ended contour stick again. I'm also very, very sick right now, so. Thriving. Just a whoop. And then a whoop. Um, and then we're gonna do on the nose, so. Joanna shooting fog is so important because it kind of strengthens her connection to her father, Benjamin Barker, who is also Sweeney Todd, who is a murderer in the show. He kills people. And so I think that really strengthens their connection as characters, even though they never actually interact on stage, I feel like that gives them some more like interactions in a sense, even though they, they literally only interact once on stage. And what I love about that is that you get the opportunity to see more depth in Joanna with her connection to her father in that sense. I'm now going to do eyeshadow, which we are using my Christian Siriano palette. This is my stage makeup palette. It's very inexpensive. I got it at Walgreens on sale for like 15 bucks and it's got a lot of colors in it. So the first shade I'm going to use is this dark brown color almost. It's right there. It's almost gone. All right, well, you can see it. It's pretty dark. Um, so I'm just going to put that in my crease. We're gonna start with the crease, even though that's not what you're supposed to do, so we're just gonna... She is one of the lighter characters in the show. She kind of brings some 
peace to other characters, some like lightness almost to the dark contrast of the show. Like my costume was white, whereas most of the other characters' costumes were different shades of gray and black. All right, I'm now going to use this light white color to contrast the shade I put on my crease and we're going to put this on my actual lid. Another parallel between Todd and Joanna is that they are both sent away as relatively good people and then they both come back as murderous and dark. So we're gonna blush now and so our hair and makeup lady, her name's Bonnie, she is absolutely amazing. She basically, when we were doing the show, she was like, you can have a little bit of blush, like, as long as you, like, make it more natural looking, like, because of Joanna being such a kind of feminine, girly character. Ooh, my god. And I'm using this uh, NYX Amber blush. It was free. That's why I'm using it. And then our final, or semi-final step is lipstick. And we are going to use Wet n Wild Rebel Rose, which is my personal favorite shade. We're gonna set now, which is with NYX Matte Finishing Matte Spray. I don't think I'm gonna put the wig on just because it's kind of gross and not neatly styled right now because it's been sitting in my house for three days. <laughs> so, hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Leave a like, subscribe for more musical theater related content. Have a nice day.